All right, here we're gonna go over I Ran by a Flock of Seagulls. Always been a fun little song, and the video will be forever remembered as one of the worst haircuts you could ever have in the 80s. Uh, fun song to play, nothing too hard, bunch of little parts, but it's all really easy. So uh, smash the like button if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to check out more, and uh, maybe Tobias or any of their cats will show up again. All right, thanks. Iran's mostly based out of A, G, and F. We're going to start out here at the first chord. It's going to be an A power chord on your seventh fret. And we're going to use G up here in the twelfth fret, fifteenth, and fifteenth. There's a lot of delay on there, so most people are just going to hit. You do that twice, and it's going to come back to the F here. leading into the verse. The verse will be mostly out of the A and G chords, but we're only going to be playing the fifth and the octave of them. This will be in the seventh fret. Then move down to G. Then there's going to be a little fill starting on the the G here. So quicker it'll be. And the second pass, it won't do that fill. Right at the end, you'll hear starting up, which is what the guitar is going to play over the chorus. The chorus comes in, starting on that D that gets hit a little before the end. And that's going to be your chorus. After the first chorus, it's going to go back into the beginning part, just hitting these chords of the A. And then it goes back into after two times and bringing back into the verse. Then it goes through the chorus again and comes up to the first solo. The buildup for a chorus is just going to be C. Then it's going to come into the chorus. We're going to start here with G and A on our 8th and 10th fret B string. We're going to jump strings here. the solo. Pretty simple. Nice and melodic, but pretty simple. The third verse is a little different here. It's going to start off like the beginning of the song with the A. Then we're going to go up to the G here, but we're not going to hit the highest string at first. It's going to hit the lower notes first, then highest, then without it. Back to the fill. And then it returns, the second half of the verse is the same as the first two verses. Okay, after that last verse, it goes into one more chorus, and we're going to hit our outro solo, and the main notes we're going to be using are E, F, D, and C. And it starts out... It's going to do that eight times, and then four times it will do... And then it will end after that last time. One more pass. And then to the A. So. And 
and we ran out of things to cover in this video. Guys, thanks for checking it out. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe if you like what you're seeing.